I have been a firm believer in the NFL narrative. And if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that, that I am a firm believer. And what that means is, do I think the NFL is scripted? I do not. I think it's funny that the NFL is throwing this whole script thing in your face. You know, sometimes people do their best. Remember the movie, uh, what was it? The Usual Suspects. Ooh, spoiler alert. <laughs> if you haven't seen The Usual Suspects, you have five seconds to get out of this stream or this, this video, okay? Haven't seen, spoiler alert. The bad guy was in front of your face the whole time, right? That's the NFL. Now, do I think it's script? No. Do I think it's narrative driven? Yes. I think there are storylines in play. And I've said long time. I, I and and I came to believe, and I don't want to, I don't want to do this to anybody because I could ruin your image of the game. So I want you to, I don't want you to, you know, watch the video if you feel if you think that the NFL is 100 percent that there aren't storylines in the NFL. You got to remember the NFL is entertainment. It's like watching your favorite TV show. Yes, it's two it's two teams going back and forth, but it is entertainment. Entertainment involves you being entertained, right? It's not Russell Crowe and Gladiator, but there are what makes entertainment storylines. The highest paid quarterback, the Miami Dolphins putting up 70 points. There is a entertainment narrative factor in the NFL, okay? Whether you like it or not, whether you want to see it, all you got to do is take the veil off. You can see it. With that being said, the third quarter game clock gets down to triple zeros. And while the Detroit Lions defense is not really playing because they're expecting the Packers to not be able to get a playoff. And then they relax when the when the game clock hits triple zeros. The uh, the game, the, the play is allowed to happen, which led to to a huge gain by the Green Bay Packers. And if it weren't for whoever was, was back there, that would have been a touchdown. I have said this many times before, that the narrative has changed for the Detroit Lions. It has changed. And it began with the firing of Jim, uh, Matt Patricia. That's where the narrative began to change. I was supremely confident yesterday, if you go back and watch either one of my streams on any one of my channels, that we were not going to lose that game. That I never, once we got up the way that we did, supremely confident. Did not think it was going to happen. I see you, Antoine. Appreciate you, bro. Let me pin that so I can come back to it. But the narrative is changing, ladies and gentlemen, for the Detroit Lions. It is our time to shine. I saw an interesting stat, or I heard it yesterday. Let me know if you saw it or heard it in the, in, in the broadcast. The Detroit Lions are the only OG. This is a new stat that I didn't know existed, right? We're the only OG team, meaning original NFL days back in the day, team to not appear in a Super Bowl. Now, you might be like, well, what about the Browns? Yes, the Browns have never appeared in a Super Bowl either. The Jacksonville Jaguars and the New England, I'm sorry, the Tennessee, the Houston Texans. I get it right one day. When the Browns were dissolved and moved to Baltimore, they were gone for three years. So they essentially came back into the league. But for three years, the, the Browns were not a thing. Therefore, there is a gap between OG Browns and new Browns. That leaves the Detroit Lions as the only team to not, from, from the OG standpoint, to not make the Super Bowl. We know every Lions stat there is. Every negative Lions stat there is, we know. But that one I didn't know. I didn't know that they counted that gap as a gap. And just like we saw last night, our team, we've been seeing it for years. We were unable, we didn't have the talent to overcome the narrative that is the NFL machine. And we have it now. And we're getting better. We're getting better. And I, I'm a firm believer that Brad Holmes is going to be a buyer at the trade deadline. There's a receiver it's not going to be an offensive lineman. It's not going to be a linebacker. It's not going to be a cornerback. It's going to be an edge rusher, a defensive tackle, or a wide receiver. Did I say it's not going to be a wide receiver? It is going to be a wide receiver. It's not going to be a cornerback, right? The narrative for the Detroit Lions is changing. And you'll see the word narrative pop up a lot, a lot in the NFL. It's a language they like to use. And last night, when we saw it, I know that some of y'all was nervous. I was never nervous. 
I was upset. I started getting irritated because you could see the game change and you saw why it was changing. And it all really began in that third quarter. And it, they capped it off with the most ridiculous. And you know what we usually get, people? We get a, a nice little message. Uh, you know what happens when a call is missed or a call is blown? You get an apology letter in the NFL. You get the team gets a, I'm sorry. The Lions took the control out of the ref's hands yesterday. You can't leave it because the NFL narrative isn't in play. So from the busted play clock to the miraculous flags in the third quarter, the Detroit Lions overcame the NFL narrative. But if you remember me from eight or nine months ago, what did I tell you? When, when we did not get into the playoffs and we saw what happened in Seattle, the NFL, we had put the NFL on notice going eight and two. Or until that point, we were eight and one. And I'm sorry, we were seven and seven and two. We put the NFL on notice and they wanted us to pause. They wanted us to pump the brakes, sit this one out because your time is coming. Right. And here, here it is. And the Lions showed that yesterday by overcoming the NFL narrative. That was the worst one. And, and here's another thing, too. On Thursday night, the weirdest things happen, right? I'm not trying to get conspiracy, but the weirdest things happen on Thursday night. Everybody was embracing for the Detroit Lions to blow a fourth quarter lead, except me, right? And some of you in the chat, I knew it wasn't going to happen because our time is here. So NFL has to be better, <laughs> but the Detroit Lions were better than the NFL last night. The narrative has changed. We are not the same old Lions.